Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, July 20th. It's the eighth week after Pentecost and week two in the psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 35, and Joshua chapter 4, verse 19 to chapter 5, verse 1, and chapter 5, verses 10 through 15. Now join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95. You are God, a great ruler over all the gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. You made the sea, it belongs to you. The dry land to it was formed by your hands. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word in Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Alleluia. Psalm 35, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery, and let your angel persecute them. For without cause they have hid their net in a pit to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them. Let them be caught in the net they have hid into that very pit. Let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, My God, who is like you? who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up, they charged me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good. My soul is in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting and prayed with my whole heart, as if they had been my friends or brothers. I bowed down in grief like one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me. They surprised me and tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. O oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions. Save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me without cause wink at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, with our own eyes we have seen it. You saw it, O oh God. Keep not your silence, be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Ah, just as we would have it, we have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my hurt be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 
Hallelujah. I plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Hallelujah. A reading from Joshua chapter 4, beginning at verse 19. And the people went up out of the Jordan on the tenth of the first month. And the sons of Israel encamped in Galgala, in the park toward sunrise from Jericho. And those twelve stones which he had taken out of the Jordan, Jesus set up in Galgala, saying, When your sons ask you, saying, What are these stones? Proclaim to your sons. Israel crossed over the Jordan on dry land. When the Lord our God dried up the water of the Jordan from before them, until they crossed over, as the Most High our God did, to the Red Sea, which the Most High our God dried up before us until we passed by, so that all the nations of the earth may know that the power of the Most High is mighty, and in order that you may worship Yahweh your God for all time. And it happened when the kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, and the kings of Phoenicia by the sea heard that the Most High God had dried up the Jordan River from before the sons of Israel when they crossed over, that their hearts melted, and they were panic-stricken, and there was no understanding in them from before the sons of Israel. And the sons of Israel kept the Pasha on the fourteenth day of the month, from evening at sunset at Jericho, on the opposite side of the Jordan in the plain. And they ate from the grain of the th land, things unleavened and fresh. On this day the manna ceased, after they had eaten from the grain of the land. And the sons of Israel no longer had manna, and they in and they enjoyed the fruit of the country of the Phoenicians in that year. And it happened when Jesus was at Jericho that he looked up with his eyes and he saw a person standing before him, and his sword was drawn in his hand. And Jesus approached and said to him, Are you one of us or on the side of our adversaries? And then he said to him, as commander-in-chief of the force of the Most High, I have now come. And Jesus fell face down onto the earth and said to him, Master, what do you order your domestic? And the commander-in-chief of the Most High said to Jesus, Loosen the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to see. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help. May we live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.